Hello beautiful people. I'm actually doing this video on my phone in my room so that makes it a little confusing. The lights are a little weird but there we go. Some days that's just how we need to roll and I really wanted to talk to you today. I haven't done any videos in a little bit and uh, I really miss talking to you. So uh, here I am. So uh, I was talking about reconciliation. That's a word that's been thrown around a lot recently, especially in Canada, because we have the Truth and Reconciliation Committee, which commission, not committee, Truth and Reconciliation Commission, whose uh, job is to help uh, Canada and its indigenous peoples uh, heal, you know, centuries of wounds. So that's a long, slow process. But um, I find it very hope giving that it's that it's happening, that it's on its way. So. Um, yeah, that's a word that's kind of been on my mind, reconciliation, because, um, yeah, it's an important thing. I wrote a blog post and also a, an email today about uh, reconciliation, so I'm not going to repeat everything that I said in those. If you want to uh, see my blog post, you can go to my blog. Uh, it's at um, hadassavitar.com, so uh, you can find it there. But, uh, yeah, reconciliation is what we do when we are ready to uh, let go of the pain of the past and very often it's on both sides you know as I wrote in I wrote in that uh, article that I wrote um, you know what happens is you know this time of year people spend more time with family than maybe they do otherwise I was just uh, watching with great interest on Facebook people talking about something called Friendsgiving <laughs> which is like a Thanksgiving that you have with friends instead of with family and it looks like it started for people who for whatever reason couldn't be with their family and now it's become the you know the celebration of choice for people who don't want to be with their family and I find that a little sad my family is far away so uh, when we get together you know there's there are tensions sometimes but um, in general, we, we do try try to smooth them over because we're not going to be together for very long. So we kind of uh, push down <laughs> whatever it is that we're, we're maybe not too happy about. That's, you know, that's how families work. But um, here's the thing, is that the things that people have tensions about, uh, to, one, to some extent, you know, if people are together for a holiday or just visiting for a short time, so on, you're going to get some, uh, you know, People are out of their comfort zone. People are overcrowded, maybe. Um, they might be overeating, definitely might be over drinking, which is not really good for uh, balanced and healthy relationships. People are drinking a lot. And, um, okay, I see that somebody's watching, but I can't see who it is. So welcome, wherever you might be. <laughs> might show up later on my phone. But uh, anyway, reconciliation. Because people are together because of the holidays, they're traveling, they're visiting, whether you're doing Thanksgiving in the U.S. Uh, here in Canada, we had Thanksgiving a month ago. But um, the fact remains, people are with their families, all sorts of hurts and tensions from the past um, might come bubbling up. Uh, people maybe don't have the opportunity to stay away from each other. People might drink and their inhibitions are a little loosened. Words might be said that... Um, that uh, have to do with with pain that has been carried maybe for decades from the things that happened and I'm not even talking about abuse here I'm, I'm totally not talking about abuse I'm not asking anybody to reconcile with an abuser and um, if you do forgive an abuser it's something that you do for yourself and it doesn't mean you ever have to have contact with them again I'm talking about you know just the everyday if you will the normal family stuff that happens between people when you have you know power differentials parents and children um, who don't you know grow into an adult relationship you know the children might move away and um, there might never be the opportunity to develop into an adult relationship with each other which can become really interesting uh, later on when the parents are getting older and the uh, children suddenly find themselves in a caregiver position when without having had that adult relationship in between I can only imagine but um, people have all sorts of pain that they carry around with them from their childhood having to do with their family oh hi and um, it's uh, it can be very difficult 
and <laughs> thank you and it uh, can be very difficult because people kind of repress these feelings because they don't want they're afraid that if they you know start the conversation everything's going to come out in a tsunami of of feelings and they're afraid that they might destroy the relationship altogether or they might make a fool of themselves and um, it, it becomes very difficult so i just wanted to encourage everyone who finds themselves in a situation like that to really seriously consider um, whether you want to reconcile with the person and even if it's not a it's not a huge deal but if you've been carrying um, resentment for 30 or 40 years then it is a big deal even though if you look objectively at what the issue was you might uh, say to yourself this is ridiculous that i feel this way hi that i feel this way about it after so many years but the fact remains is that if you do then you need to accept that that is how you feel and try to figure out what you want to do about it uh, if you have the kind of relationship overall that you can maybe talk about these things then that's great and um, sometimes uh, it might be a good thing to have a counselor a therapist a life coach somebody to uh, have that conversation with you and help guide it so that nobody nobody gets overwhelmed with the tsunami of feelings so uh, that might be something to to consider but all in all i would really really encourage everyone to consider um, dealing with those issues and don't spend a lot of energy uh, trying to uh, trying to uh, repress whatever issues you might have with people that you actually love very much and uh, it's, it can be it can be really discouraging to feel that uh, you know this is a person that you love and yet somehow this thing is between you and you don't know what to do about it so consider reconciliation because that might be that just might be something that gives new life to your relationship and especially if you're talking with your parents you know if you're an adult and your parents are older and you know there might only be a limited amount of time that you might have together and why waste it on bad feelings so that's something to consider so uh, thank you for listening and uh, if uh, you had value from this video i would love it if you would uh, comment share and um, like all the good things and if uh, and if you uh, get value from the, the things that i say please visit my youtube channel it's called uh, it's called energy queens you can find my blog on uh, hadassahvitar.com drop me a comment say hello and um, yeah i would uh, love to talk with you about these things and about other things and uh, I would also love to send you my top five tips for being, uh, for having a wonderful life after menopause, if you happen to be a woman. <laughs> and uh, yeah, have a great day. Remember, I love you. Bye.